Right, my name is Tim Panton. I'm uh, from Voxeo Labs, and I'm going to talk to you about how to add the Phono SDK um, and use it to construct an iPhone app. Um, it's our latest 0 0.3 release of the Phono SDK. So I'm going to assume that you've got Xcode and your developer certificate already installed, and I'm going to assume that you've um, downloaded PhoneGap 1.1 from the PhoneGap.com site and installed that into your um, your Xcode and that that's all set up. And I'm also going to assume that you've downloaded Phono SDK 0.3 and that you've uh, got it somewhere on your disk. So first thing you need to do then is, um, having got all those bits downloaded and, and, and installed, is to create a new project. So we create a new project in Xcode. And we want to create a phone gap style project. So that's one of the defaults in this case. So we create a phone gap style project and let's call it um, sconf03, like that. And uh, we, we won't create a like, like git repository and we'll just pop it in the phono directory on this um, okie doke so now the first thing we need to do um, with Xcode is to uh, set the simulator um, I'm going to choose to use um, an iPhone simulator because it takes up a little less space on the screen. Um, and now, the next thing we need to do is to um, for is to run uh, this project. Now, it, it won't actually; um, it hasn't got any uh, any web any user interface defined for it yet. Um, there are no, there's no www directory, um, but uh, what happens is that on first run, PhoneGap creates one, and that actually has a file in it that we need. So it's useful uh, to run this, and we'll get. It also gets to warm up the um, the iPhone simulator, and it checks that we've got a buildable project as well. So all in all, it's a, a useful uh, useful step. So, um, but we will get a warning from this saying that uh, that the www slash um, index.html file isn't available, which is uh, expected behavior. Um, takes a few seconds to warm up on my poor antique MacBook Air. There we go, and next we get debugger attaching to it, and the error message any second now. There you go. Okay, so we stop that, and that's had the, the beneficial side effect, as I say, of creating a www directory. So we'll um, show that in Finder. And we also want to, um, so we need that directory there. Um, but we also want to um, add some more interesting code than, than uh, phone gap providers. So we want to copy one of the samples from our phone SDK. So we'll take the conference sample. I think that's probably the, the best bet. So we. Um, we take the www directory from there and we pop it into our project. Um, and we'll choose to copy it in. You need to take this phone gap file and drop it into uh, 
our project. So now with any luck that'll show up in here. That's good. Now we need to put some um, you need to make a couple of changes in, in, in this um, to make it phone gap friendly. So the first one is we need to in JavaScript file we've just added to the project like that. So um, it's a phone gap. So I've put that included that there. And I also need um, to make a change in the conference uh, JS. Um, next to where I define the API key. I need to add an extra property of connection URL and set it to http colon slash slash app dot phono dot com close quotes oh, and we've got a capital P which we'll get rid of. There we go. And just sort it. Sort the alignment out. So that's that piece done. Now we need to add Phono, the Phono plugin. Um, since we referenced it in the JavaScript, we're going to need to um, include it in the project. So to do that, we go back to our Finder um, and we go back to our phone SDK and in the plugins, and our iOS and in the plugins directory. We need to take these three files and drop them into the plugins directory of the project. Again, I'm going to choose to copy them. And once we have that directory there, I also need to add, I'm going to build, run this in the simulator, so I need to add the libphono. And we also need to add uh, a an extra framework which is the security framework. So we'll expand this tab and add as you notice that our library has added itself to here and we need to add the security framework as well. Okie dokie. So those things are all um, are now added. We've done the libraries. We added the security framework. I'm, I'm working for, from the readme that's in the um, SDK directory. So the last thing we need to do is to um, do some editing on the phonegap.plist file. We need to do two things here. The first one is we need to add a external host to allow PhoneGap to um, speak with the app dot phono dot com host that we defined um, mentioned earlier in the JavaScript file, so that we have to uh, permit traffic to that. And then the other thing we need to do is that we need to add the phono plugin to the plugins list. We'll save those changes. A quick mental check to see whether I've done all the um, oh no I haven't. That needs to say it's not it's not just the server, we need a full URL there. So we need to say um, app.phono.com slash http bind or rather http colon slash slash gosh some errors there um, so 
full full description is connection URL um, colon quotes HTTP colon slash slash app dot phono dot com slash HTTP bind. Um, so we'll save that. Now let's try building it and running it. Takes a few seconds on my machine to load this up in the simulator. I'm a bit light on memory when I'm doing screen recordings. Okay, so let's call this um, let's call this conference screen. And it's now going to ask me what my name is. Um, I call myself Tim, which is a fair thing to do. Now let's join the conference. And there we are in the conference. And that is all I'm going to show you. Um, we'll end the call politely. And that's done. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to visit the forum on uh, phono.com and um, add any questions or comments there. And if you find any bugs, I'd be delighted if you could uh, register them on the GitHub issues so we can, um, we can track them down and uh, fix them. Thank you very much for listening.